And you can certainly count on us for all the changes, all the closings, and most importantly, the forecast, too. Yep, and uh, just as Ray said, it would start this evening. Mm -hmm. It indeed has. And Ray, when is the worst of it going to be falling? Actually, the, the worst of it is pretty much from now till about midnight 1 a.m. So this is this is the time period where we're going to see the heavier bands working through the area and then we'll start to see it lighten up and break up after that. So this is sort of a quick hitting system that's coming in pretty good timed. Uh, we're ending that evening commute. Yeah, it's snowing right now, but we're ending the evening commute and then I think uh, road crew should have a good chance, a good few hours before sunrise tomorrow, before the morning commute tomorrow to help take care of this. Now you can see how this snow has worked in over the course of this evening at uh, Three, four o'clock, it was way down to the south, and that quickly overspread the area. And we are seeing accumulations, and some of those accumulations are occurring on some of the roadways. Some of the heavier snows, Washington down to Waynesburg, and another little batch from Greensburg up into southern Indiana, southern Armstrong County. So we have these couple spots where this uh, snow, where you get these darker blues showing up here, is is a little more potent. You get that little stronger band. So as you're traveling uh, up to Burl from Greensburg out to Ligonier, you could run into some of that heavier stuff. And there's a couple pockets of steadier snow down towards Elizabeth, southern Allegheny County, back down towards areas like Charleroi. Now it's a whole lot lighter where you get the whites and the lighter colors. This is where we're having some just very light snow. Uh, Newcastle from Beaver uh, back up into the Youngstown area. So nothing too uh, extreme there. And this snow is going to continue to work on through. Now here's a view of Pittsburgh. This is from the North Shore. It's lightened up a little bit since we last checked in on it. But you can certainly still see some flakes flying there. And that's the same case from Mount Washington looking down towards the point. So I like to play this game. Will it stick? As long as your temperatures are below the freezing line, that's that red line, 32 degrees, that snow has the potential to stick on surfaces, and that's going to be the case all the way through tonight into tomorrow. So when you step outside in the morning, you might have a slick porch or slick steps. My driveway has a light coating of snow here in southern uh, Butler County, so it, it's sticking, and untreated surfaces will get some snow on it. And that snow is going to continue for the next few hours. And then by about midnight, 1 a.m., that snow starts to end. So 1 a.m., you can see how it's already shifted out of Pittsburgh. Greensburg's getting the last of it. Uniontown's getting the last of it. Morgantown's getting the last of it. And then we'll sweep that snow aside as we continue into about 3 a.m. So that's going to give crews a good few hours to get those roadways resalted and cleaned up where they need cleaned up. So I don't think this is going to have a major impact on the morning commute aside from some of those back roads and aside from people maybe being a little late because they have to brush off the car or warm up the car because the other part of this whole story is we have some cold temperatures in play for tomorrow morning. Now when all is said and done, one to two inches for Pittsburgh, so it's not going to be a giant snow in any way, shape, or form as you start working up into uh, Butler County. It's going to be more an inch or less, and then as you get up towards Newcastle, same deal. Two to four, not out of the question. Greensburg back into southern Indiana County, back down towards Morgantown. Four to seven, not out of the question in some of those higher elevations as you work down into Garrett County, Preston County, and the ridges of Montegalia County. Now, 18 degrees for tonight. Cold, single-digit wind chills. Tomorrow, we find our temperatures back in the mid-20s for highs, so it's going to be another cold day, but after some early flurries, I think we'll get some breaks for some sunshine. There will be a bit of a breeze, so a bit of a wind chill taking us through. Temperatures come up a little bit for the weekend. Rain and snow on Sunday, transitioning to colder temperatures again. Monday and Tuesday, only highs in the 20s. And remember, with snow on the radar and outside your window, get the KDK weather app. It gives you the current radar, hourly versions of the forecast, and if any new alerts come up, it'll tell you about those as well. Search for it in the App Store and Google Play by looking up CBS Pittsburgh.